Hey guys, welcome back to Billy Ray Garage. Uh, today's video, we are going to try and solve this ABS issue. There's a scan tool right here that can hopefully access the ABS module and get it to pump because somehow I have air in the system. Well, I know how. That one can't do shit. They can tell you check engine lights. This one could go into an ABS module. So we're going to give that a go. And if that doesn't work because I have no rear brakes and all that fun stuff, I'm probably going to try and jack the car up and slam on the brakes that way and see if that activates the module. And if not, then we're going to get sketchy and take it out on the road and try and activate the EPS that way by doing a little like 25, 30 miles an hour, slam on the brakes, hope for the pump to activate. Now to give a little backstory on why the brakes don't work, when I had the car down, I had the brake lines taken off because I had new brake lines to put on and I drained all the fluid out so that probably put air into the system. Well, actually, I definitely put air into the system. So yeah, when I put the rear brakes on, I bled the system, I bled the whole system and it bled fine, but my pedal would go to the floor. So I changed my master cylinder and it seemed to work fine. I had the car jacked up when I was bleeding the clutch. I was like, nah, let me bleed the brakes again. And I had fluid going to the front brakes because at that time too, I changed the front brake lines to the steel braided lines. I already did the rear and I had to do the front because I never did it. So when I bled the brakes, front brakes, the fluid went through. And when I had it jacked up for the clutch to bleed that, I was like, yeah, let me bleed the brakes again just for ha ha's. Well, all the fluid came out of the rear brakes and the front brakes had fluid. So the car will stop that way, but having air in the system is kind of sketch. Let me try a couple methods here, see if they work. This little scanner, I think it was like 200 bucks, maybe 180, 160, somewhere in that range, but we'll give it a go, see if it works, and hopefully it does so I can take it on the road. All right, I got the scanner plugged into the car. I'm gonna turn the car to the accessory mode. All right, so now we got that going. We're going to go to, shut up, I know I got a little, very low fuel. So you got this one little button up here. We're gonna go to that. It's ABS SRS. Hit that. We're gonna go to USA GM. Now I think this thing's gonna make you manually put in the information. So we're gonna give it a try. Yeah, so 2004. Uh, passenger car, Pontiac, and a GTO. I don't know why it asked for manual, all that stuff. It says supplemental inflatable restraint. You don't need that. The hell, man. I'm going to try it with the car running, see if that works. Yeah, it's going to be a little loud. Let's go to the passenger car. Let's go back to Pontiac. GTO. Manual. And for some reason it's not pulling up. So we may need to do something else to get this going. At least my little coolant light's gone. I guess that's fixed. Alright, on to the next test. Alright guys, uh... I thought about jacking the car up and running it, but this car shakes a lot and I don't want to put it on jack stands on the back wheels. Well, jack it up from the back, put jack stands under it. Cause like I said, this thing shakes a lot. I don't know if it's because of the tune or because it's got more power, baby. So anyway, I'm going to let Jesus take the wheel and we'll hope that this works and there's no kids out. It's 2024, kids don't ride bikes anymore. so. Should be good on that end, but I'm going to give it a couple of spins around the block and go up to like 25, 30 miles an hour, slam on the brakes, see if the ABS pump will kick in. I'll try and do that a couple times, then I'll jack it up and hopefully be able to pump some fluid through. I'm going to start the car up, let it warm up, and we'll get going. All right guys, adjusted the clutch a little bit more. So hopefully I can get it in reverse. Reverse or friggin' drive. Like you wanted to run away on me a little bit. 
thought I had it right. Anyway, let's, uh, what was I turn the AC on? All right, rev's a little higher with the AC on. Put the AC back on, because it's kind of toasty out. So, let's, uh, see what we got here. Okay, we roll down to the street. We're stopped. Let's see if we can reverse to actually work. There we go. She likes to stall out. Alright. Probably has something to do with the tune, but we'll see. Alright, let's uh let's go for a spin around the block. See, see what we got. Oh, we rolling. Ah, oh, my brake friggin' thing came on. Alright, we're rolling, so that's good. Gear. I got my brake alarm on. Why are we moving? I right, successfully shifted into second gear. We're going, we're going somewhere. Not college, but we're going places. Doing about 25. I'm gonna slam on the brakes a little bit. See what that gets us. Nope, we're not getting anything out of the ABS, so that's a problem. We're stopping though. Stop sign coming up. Hopefully, I don't rerun this car. Yeah, I'm stopping. I'm just not getting uh, ABS going. I don't know why. At least I got it in the second gear. And this clutch grabs. Get an ABS pump going. Let's see if we can slam on the brakes again at the stop sign. I don't know, maybe I'm just not hitting the brakes hard enough. I don't know. Let's go around the block again, see what happens. This thing is jumpy. Piss the neighbors off real quick. This thing does shift a lot crisper now, I'll say that much. Can I go on the third gear? I think I'm in third. Yep, I am. Let's see if I can slam on the brakes in front of my house. Doing about 30. Let's see if I can just really slam on it. I don't think I'm getting ABS. My brake light did go off. Nope, just came back on. Well, I guess the good thing is I could stop, but. ABS issues. I guess the next thing I could do is maybe take it to a shop because if that's not working, I don't know what will. Uh, I could check the relay again for the ABS module. Maybe I'll do that in a few minutes after I let it cool off. And uh, we'll experiment with that. We'll try again. But if not, I might have to bring it somewhere and have them do their witchcraft and charge me $130 an hour, which. Isn't all that bad considering, I guess. You know, what does it take, two hours? Bleed the brakes, just have them do it, if they could do it. So, uh, let me run that option of the ABS relay, and maybe we could get something going with that. I could swap that out and 
You know, that's about the only other option I could think of. I mean, I was doing 30 miles an hour, slamming on the brakes. Like I said, it stops, but... And uh, I could change the relay, drive it around the block again. And for ha-ha's, I'll jack it up and try bleeding the rear brakes out again. See, if maybe if something happened where it's like, oh, I decided to work again. So, stand by. We will keep giving the old college try at this. All right, guys. Got some info from my friend's dad who probably knows more about cars than I do and probably forgot more than I know. Uh, he suggested trying to bleed out the ABS module, bleed it out from there. He believes that air is trapped between the master cylinder and the ABS module. So I started at this thing for like 10 minutes and I think I did do something. So I will show you. There's a line here and a line here. They both go back to the master cylinder. This is MC1, MC2. Now, judging by the orientation of the ABS block, there's a little lettering right there. It says RF, right front. So I'm assuming that line goes to the right front, and then this one is LF, left front. So I'm getting brakes to the front of the car, but not to the back. So MC2, I believe is working on the back end of the car because you have right rear, left rear. So I'm going to try cracking this line and bleeding the air out of it and we'll see if that works. You need two people for this. Uh, I'm going to recruit the girlfriend to step on the brakes while I break that free and try and get the air slash fluid out of it. So maybe, just maybe, that'll work. I already set an open appointment for a shop to do the alignment and to look into this. So that's next week. But I figured I'd give it a go to try and skip that process. So let's give it a go. All right guys, just show you what I did. Uh, I took the back wheels off, I jacked the car up. Uh, just have access to these bleeders because if I start getting fluid up there, I'm gonna go right into bleeding these back ones if my theory is correct and my friend's dad's theory is correct. So I have a 10 millimeter wrench on this side. I have one ready to go on that side. On the driver's side, I sprayed a little WD on this one and this one because I could be wrong about this one. So if I am, this one's ready to go. And then also I'm gonna take the cap off the master cylinder, have a rag ready, and let's get this going. Let me get my girlfriend out here to step on the brakes and then we will be ready to go. All right, step on the brake. Hold it. All right, let go. Step on the brake. All right, let go. Step on the brake. Let go. All right, guys, no such luck. I tried disconnecting the line down here, the fat one. Didn't get any fluid coming out, so there's either something wrong with this new master cylinder or the thing had to be primed or something. I don't know. Uh, it's going to the shop for an alignment, but they're going to look at the brakes. Figured I'd give it another stab and see if maybe I could do something. I haven't tried breaking these lines and the rear lines and opening up the back bleeder valves. It, nothing. So I'm at an impasse here. So in a couple seconds, you will find out what the shop had to say about it and hopefully they can resolve it because I don't think this is an ABS issue. It's just something in the master cylinder. I'm actually gonna, when I send it to the shop, I'm gonna put the old master cylinder in there because who knows, maybe they could scavenge some parts up or do what they gotta do, but uh, this sucks. I'll let you know what happens in a few seconds. Run. Later. All right guys update on the car. The car is still at the shop. Seem to be having trouble diagnosing why brake fluid is not getting to the rear wheel. Wheels I should say and I did a, an extensive search online and I found a company in Australia. I'll probably put it on the screen here so if you guys have the same issue hopefully you get the part. So it's gonna take anywhere between six to 13 days to get here because it's coming from Australia. So not exactly an overnight job, 
But as far as the rest of the car, the alignment's done. Uh, like I said, they're just keeping it at the shop for another day. They're gonna see if they could tinker with it. They seem to think that materials build up in it. And when you pump the pedal, some of that stuff gets pushed back and it's clogging the master cylinder. That's what they seem to think, which is probably a plausible thing to think of, but I'm getting a brand new one. So hopefully we'll get that resolved. Uh, the next couple videos, I'm gonna take care of the headlights and probably since the master cylinder is going to be out at some point uh work on the line lock so figure all fluids out might as well do it then so i don't have to have fluid in the car and then have to drain it all out again and bleed the brake system again so so that's what we are looking at so after the line lock and the headlights get put in hopefully then i can get it to actually stop the way it's supposed to and hopefully get it out to East Coast Supercharging so that they could dyno it and tune it and make it all nicey nice. But I will say the guy at the shop, he, he test drove it around the block and he was just like, this thing's rowdy, man. <laughs> Even when I dropped it off, he was like, he was like, man, what'd you do to that thing? That thing sounds nice. I was like, yeah, did a whole bunch of stuff. So anyway, keep an eye out for the next probably two videos. It's gonna be the headlights and the line lock and I'm probably going to be working nights which is going to put a hamper on that but I will push through and I will prevail putting out new content so thank you guys for watching like subscribe you know the deal and uh oh, real quick while well, the car's been gone the garage is clean hey all right guys thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one out